My name is Donnan Hull and I'm from Birmingham in the UK. I've been living with MS for over 20 years now. My name is Cornelia. Uh, I'm coming from Romania and uh, I was diagnosed at 22, so that's eight years ago. My name is Patrick. I'm from Croatia and I was diagnosed in 2011, so almost 13 years life with MS. My name is Anne Catherine and I'm from Denmark. I was first diagnosed eight years ago and I was 22 years old. My name is Nadja. I come from Serbia and I was diagnosed in 2021. So in March it will be three years. Celebrating three years. I was diagnosed at a time in my life where anything was possible. I was ready to build a future for myself and then MS drops this bombshell. My mum didn't understand, although she was in the room with me, she did not know what was going on. As a 17 year old, neither did I. I needed specialist care, I needed targeted support to enable me to carry on with my education to enable me to achieve everything that I wanted. People from black and ethnic minority backgrounds have poorer health outcomes when it comes to MS. The changes that I would like to see in the MS care system, more research into the people that they are trying to serve. I was not involved in any decision-making process at that time. And I feel like young people especially need to be empowered to take charge. They've got to live with this condition for the rest of their lives. It is theirs and we should be motivated and encouraged to own our MS, to be a part of that decision-making process. I think we need more of these initiatives across every country. There are no programmes that I have seen that are targeted towards carers and it's something that I'd like to see more of. But I think we need more of community events. I feel that community is essential. It enabled me to be able to live again and be seen. I see research as being a very important part of your process. And in general, it's giving me hope for a better world because it gave me uh, like a sense of control by finding out uh, information that uh, I didn't know otherwise. And for a person that has uh, recently or not necessarily recently been diagnosed, it's very important to have a sense of control along the journey. I think the research areas that um, researchers should focus on um, in the future is um, personalized uh, treatment. Uh, because there are many things that are important uh, in uh, your MS journey. Researchers can collaborate better with individuals uh, with MS by, uh, first of all, creating the space for them to express themselves. I think it's very important that we switch the way our healthcare system works right now uh, and to move towards an patient-centric systems. At first I was supposed to uh, study to be a veterinarian, but after I got my diagnosis I continued to stay uh, at the town where I was already located, which meant I was going to continue studying biology instead, because I already went through the process with my commune to get adaptations for my needs, and if I had to move to another town I had to go through that entire process again standardized training and information as well for both the counselors and the entire system. So whenever a person with a chronic condition comes into that system, you can, like they know where to start and they know where to uh, act. I think decision makers should make sure that the person with chronic conditions are met with a system that's built to make adaptations to meet their needs and not make them feel like a burden. An inclusive educational system would uh, help in a way that I've already uh, had my needs met. 
and that would make it easier for me to advocate for myself at the workplace. The employer needs like a basic set of information and training on how to do this. A more centralized approach towards people living with uh, chronic conditions would uh, make the person feel like a whole. As soon as I was diagnosed, I realized that I couldn't tackle a nine-to-five job and a physical therapy and walking my dog. I wouldn't have time for myself. I would be tired all the time. So I decided to open my own agency because of the flexibility. If I have physical therapy in the morning, I can move my meetings to the afternoon and some of my clients even know that I have a mass. The biggest challenge that people with chronic conditions are experiencing in their workplace, I think, is not having enough free days or enough sick days that they can use and feeling guilty about using those sick days or their free days for them being sick. Then we have people that are overworked and their MS could just become worse and worse and worse. Some people don't even tell to their employees that they have MS and they are hiding it and feeling very guilty about it. And we should facilitate conversations between MS communities, employers, and stakeholders to make it more inclusive and adaptable. What COVID-19 shows us is that we can all change. And if employers decide that they want to continue making that change, I think that will benefit all the people living with chronic conditions. MS patient organizations should work closely with decision makers to raise the public awareness we need to provide people with chronic conditions with a proper workplace so they can have a good quality of life because everyone deserves that. Digital tools and technology, I see that is the future. It can help us getting the appointment to the neurologist to get the appointment to MRI, but also monitoring the MS on a daily basis so that we can follow, that we can see the results. I'm also a big fan of data. I believe and I hope digitalization will help people with MS. In one way, I already did some data because in, in an old school way, I take notes from the beginning of my MS because it's hard to remember, especially when you have a meeting with a neurologist once in a six months, it's hard to remember every day. Many countries, they're already using tools for what is helping also the neurologists, but also the patients. We just need to see and explore the best practice. It helps if we have some educators who will educate the patients, but also uh, the healthcare, the healthcare system, the people in the healthcare systems, from the doctors to the nurse, it will be really beneficial for people. My ideal world is non judgmental. People that are empathetic, understanding. Everyone can easily share what's on their mind. Flexible workspace, a flexible educational system, and where they can be a part of a community without feeling like a burden. I will spend less time thinking about the mess and spend more time living instead. With the app, that I can monitor my MS on a daily basis, that I can follow my body and everything what's happened with MS. An ideal world for me is where I just feel as though I'm part of society. It would be a place where MS isn't the main character Donna is. We are the voices of tomorrow. 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 We are the voices of tomorrow and tomorrow starts now.